What's up everybody? Today I'm here to do a movie review on the film Tom Raider, which has already topped the box office with nine million dollars. So let's get started. This is a reboot film and this time the actress that plays Lara Croft is Alicia Vinkander. On the overall story we see Lara's father has gone missing for seven years and assumed dead. However, Laura refuses to sign the papers of her inheritance because that would mean that her dad is really dead. However, before she gets to sign the papers, she gets a clue that might lead to his destination and she decides to embark in a mission to find him. I thought the story was okay, there was really nothing new there, nothing that we haven't seen before. So this Lara is a little bit different than we have seen before. This is a movie where it's almost showing her journey into becoming the Lara that we know from the video games. So she's still not the awesome archaeologist in this film. There is some backstory about her, but it's not really in depth. But she's wearing the very same outfit from the game and that was really cool. The other interesting thing is that in this film she struggles a lot, she gets beaten a lot, so she's really still getting... She's a good fighter, but she's still not, wow, a superhero yet. If you're expecting just to see this crazy superhero just killing everyone and kicking everybody, she's not there yet. She really struggles and it's very close to real life. That's what I thought. So the last time we've seen the, the Tomb Raider on screen, it was played by Angelina Jolie and we all know she has a very strong presence. But those films weren't very good. They are just kind of lame entertainment and it was nice to see Angelina in action because she, she rocks. But apart from that, those films were kind of like, eh. Uh, in my opinion, this one is a little bit better as far as the visuals, the cinematography, goes. So I think that the acting in this film was pretty solid throughout uh, the entire thing, so I was very pleased with that. I thought the visuals were very great. Uh, There's a lot of beautiful tracking shots on, in, in the midst of a very crazy action scene, and I thought that it was, it was really cool, and the edit was on point as well. It, it really keeps you... it really keeps the scene very exciting. And towards the middle of the film, Lara has a Legolas moment with a bow and arrow. Uh, and I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I did enjoy that. But again, the movie is not very playful because it does have a realistic approach. So there's not a lot of jokes. She doesn't smile as much. She screams a lot. <laughs> she seems to be in a lot of pain for the most part. CGI looks great. It didn't look very cheap. Uh, very, very pleased with that because it's terrible when you go watch a film and the CGI just ruins it so in general the visual the cinematography the acting was pretty solid the only thing that i think it wasn't a hundred percent was the story it, the story was okay it's just like i said it's nothing really new nothing that we haven't seen before but uh it, it kept me really entertained so i would say that it's not a very impressive film it's above average and i would probably rate it 6.5 out of a 10. that would be my rating for this film this was definitely a setup for other films, for sure, because she's still not Lara Croft yet. She's just getting there. Uh, it's kind of her origin story, I guess. I think her looks is great. She's a very good fighter. She looks very ripped. It's, it's a good entertainment, a, a good flick film, popcorn film, and I believe, I believe a lot of people are gonna enjoy this film. So right now I'm just gonna talk spoilers from now on, so if you still plan to watch this film and you don't wanna get spoiled, please stop watching the video right now and come back later and let me know what, what did you think about the film. Okay, so... In the spoilers section, um, so she's not an archaeologist yet, uh, she doesn't seem to be very interested in all the discovery and she even seems to be a little skeptic about uh, believing in things and discovering things or maybe she doesn't care as much because again this movie is more of her becoming the kind of Lara, Lara that we we know and you've, we've seen before. She never even made it to university in this film. So there's a scene where she finds her father hiding spot and in that location is where she finds a clue that her dad is uh, might be in this island somewhere and also that her dad has been trying to hide some very very important discovery from some bad people. 
and uh, she finds a tape and she watches this tape and, and that's her dad in the tape telling her to destroy his findings because no, it cannot fall into the wrong hands. So then in that location, she, she finds a potential person that uh, could have taken her dad to this uh, island. Uh, so then she goes to this location to find this guy and it turns out that this man is no longer there, but she finds the guy's son which is her, the supporting actor that kind of sticks with her throughout the film. She convinces him or pay him to go take her to this island on this boat. Uh, when they get to the island, their boat is completely destroyed because the island is surrounded by rocks. So they all fall in the water over there and they kind of get split out. She swims back to the island and that scene was pretty cool, was pretty intense, really good action over there. So then when she gets to this island, she's captured by the villain. That's where she meets him. The, this villain has been exploiting slave labor to try to find whatever Croft's father was trying to hide. Obviously she, she's captured. Man gets a hold of her father's diary because she did not destroy it. And now he has the location to find whatever he was looking for. Then she's also forced into doing some kind of slave labor, but then she also managed to escape with the help of the supporting actor. That was the guy that took her to the island. Uh, and while she's trying to escape, she almost dies in doing so, you know? There's a very cool waterfall scene over there that uh, I thought it was pretty, pretty intense and it was very entertaining. I really liked watching that. In the middle of all, she ends up finding her dad that looks more like Tom Hanks from Castaway with a whole beard and long hair. Uh, and he's been living in that island for the past seven years. But anyways, they reconnect. Then they have a father and daughter moment over there. But he gets mad at her because she did not destroy his uh, findings, the diary. And now the bad man has all the information necessary to find this place. And then he's talking something to her about this place that is sort of like mystical. And there's like a tomb over there and something to do with death. She seems a little bit skeptical about that. Eventually she tells her father, we should go back because if we get a hold of the radio that the villain has, we're gonna be able to communicate with the outside and try to find a way to get out of here. So that's her motivation to go back. By the time that uh, she finds her way to back to that place where the villains are, the villains had already found the location of this tomb and whatever finding is in there. Everything is very mysterious because we don't really know what's inside there. It, we only know that it's something that potentially could destroy humanity, but there's not a lot of uh, explanation of what it is. After she gets there, she's able to help all the slave people escape, but then she ends up getting caught, of course, in trying to save her dad because her dad goes back with her and he's supposed to be a smart person, but he gets caught on a very stupid way because he's just waiting in front of this location where they found the tomb. Eventually they go inside this place and uh, that's where it gets a little bit interesting. Obviously it's a complete rip off of Indiana Jones Lost Ark because uh, basically they're going through s some trials and like the floor is falling, things like that, very similar to Indiana Jones. But anyways, it's entertaining, it's still cool to watch. It's not very original, but it's it's a good popcorn film, you know? So when they get in there and they go to all these trials, they find eventually a tomb and her dad is employing the villain. There's still time for you not to do this. Don't open this tomb. You could kill, potentially kill hum humanity. So I was expecting that like some monster was gonna come out of there or a shadow or a ghost or a spirit, whatever that, but that doesn't happen. So they open the tomb and there's just a mummy there. So the guy that opens touches the mummy and his arm starts to rot. And that was pretty interesting. And then Lara Croft points to the audience pretty much saying, oh, it's a disease. So it's not like a monster or anything, but that's basically, the mummy is basically carrying this virus that is deadly to humanity. Soon they find out that uh, the mummy itself, the person that was the mummy, it was a lady, she was immune to the disease and that's why she went to that place in that island so she could die that and not spread this anywhere else. Pretty much going towards the end of the story, a lot of them die 
the a lot of the villains because uh, obviously there's the villain and the gang a lot of the gang from the villains starts dying one by one uh and then eventually her dad kind of gets inf gets infected as well so he does not come out of there alive but the main villain is able to steal a little bit of a little piece of i think he cuts the finger of the mummy so he's trying to carry the disease out of that place where they are but obviously she defeats him uh, and he ends, ends up dying as well so that's pretty much it then she returns home and she buys two guns and then you have that shot from the trailer where she's holding like this that does remind you a little bit more of angelina jolie's tomb raider because she even have like the braided hair what could i say about this film i recommend it because i think a lot of people are gonna enjoy it it's pretty much just an entertainment film it's not very deep in the story but the cinematography is good uh the visuals are great the acting was pretty solid and i think it was a good setup for other films so that's the end of my review thanks for watching and if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and i'll see you next time bye